think the other thing that you're inferring is that we need to collaborate as a human race and not just serve our own interests, our own country's interests, which means that we need a stronger and more unified governance system. And we need to think about who owns land, who owns the seas, who owns the atmosphere and the air. And that's yeah. that's a very different way of thinking about things because, you know, for generations we've thought about what's in our national interest. And that is not going to solve the problems that we will face, that we're facing now, but we'll also face in the future. And so I just wonder, you know, what's the what's the timeline for this sort of governance system and how can we overcome the oh, <laughs> the resistance, I guess, from, from the status quo? When you look at the recent issues, uh, you look at the pandemic. Well, we have a, 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 a WHO as a UN organization that was, that was meant to be the one organ uh, that can help in, in, in anticipating and then kind of a counteracting once the pandemic came. Now, WHO is a fine organization, but its budget is, is about an average hospital. So how can that type of the organization possibly be up to its task. No way, Jose, it can do that. And, and so, uh, so we have these kind of uh, elements there, but, but, but it's not really at work, unfortunately. And the same happened, by the way, financial crisis when it came 2008 and nine. Oh my God, uh, it was a great mess. And there was nothing in the kind of international financial system that could kind of uh, help to manage that. that. Then came a G20 at some point and it could put some things in order, but, but very little compared to what should have been actually done. Now, uh, this Ukrainian war, if, if you take again this example, just shows that again, the UN, what did it do? What did the Secu Security Council do? <laughs> nothing. They could nothing but discuss in an absurd way, but do nothing to prevent this escalation of the war. So this gives a kind of a, the state of the art where we are, which all of us understand it's very far from where it should be. So we need a real world governance system. Now the question is that you ask me, uh, okay, when it's gonna, when it's gonna happen? Again, I'm, I'm, my way of thinking this is that, well, it's, it's not happening tomorrow or day after tomorrow, but it's going to also happen after this intensifying of the global crisis, which I see, unfortunately, uh, that is coming. And the, the level of the consciousness uh, as, it, as it rises through this harsh experience makes us to think, no, this is not enough. You know, the UN system is not enough. We really need to have this other type of a system that is kind of a compelling system because the, the problems are global. Even the Ukrainian war is a global problem. We see the food crisis appearing, which is very far from, you know, where, 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 where you know, where, where these guys are fighting. And, and so the impact of that is, is certainly global. And, and, and I would say, uh, that it takes probably 10, 15 years before we are in the situation where we really start to build this new system. But I'm absolutely certain that it will come because there is a huge necessity for that to appear. We just need to kind of uh, see that come to the point. Unfortunately, this is a learning curve of the humanity at the point, at this point, that there is actually no other way but to do that. And, 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 and so we are, uh, apparently we are not at that stage as yet, but it will come.